what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? The Dallas Morning News has just announced that alt-right leader and all-around scumbag Richard Spencer has just been named a finalist for their prestigious Texan of the Year Award. How did we get here? Now, according to the Dallas Morning News, the distinction is not meant as an award, but as recognition of those Texans who had uncommon impact, which can be a positive or a negative impact during the past year. Y'all know damn well that a title like Texan of the Year has a positive connotation to it for a person's accomplishments. You know that. I don't sound like, oh, uh, statesman of the year, um, American of the year. It's a, a all around racist. That's our American of the year. Let me tell you something, man. Dallas Morning News, you're just like Bob McNear and Jerry Jones. What you're doing is you're flexing your racist muscles. And you're saying that it's okay because you have a white supremacist apologist in the White House and you think it's safe to throw around your racial attitudes and your behavior. You think it's cool. But the internet has something for your ass today, Dallas Morning News. See, while the rest of the nation was celebrating Christmas, uh, going about their holiday uh, festivities, or celebrating Kwanzaa, uh, doing whatever you do. The, editor the editors over there at the Dallas Morning News was over there. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make our hero, we're gonna make him a finalist. We're gonna make Richard a finalist. I mean, I respect that guy. You know, I, I, I like that guy, I really like that guy. See, that's what it is. Because there ain't no way possible that a responsible newspaper that was fair and impartial and that was not racist would put that dude in a running like that. They wouldn't even consider something like that, let alone him being a finalist. He wouldn't have even been on any type of list whatsoever. Not a list where you uh, are... are putting people out in the front and giving them a platform like that to shine. You don't elevate racist. They should know that, and they do know that. But it, what I'm trying to tell you, though, is that it's their arrogance. That's all it is. We can do what we want to do. It's our paper. Uh, we're going to do what we want to do, and we're going to survive this. It's nothing they're going to be able to do about it. But times are changing, and shit ain't like you think it is. It ain't like it was. And so, so you can have your right to, to jump on out there and, and promote somebody like Richard Spencer, a, a, a straight-up, all-around racist, a separatist. You can do that if you want to, and we got the right to come at your ass, and you're going to get it. Trust me. You on the hit list, Dallas Morning News. Yeah, gotcha. Got you locked in, baby. Got you locked in. These, these people, man, I mean, have no shame. Can you imagine the, the children that they're raising? Can you imagine the family, man, what kind of families they come from? Hateful motherfuckers. Just imagine what kind of people they come from. What kind of mom and dad is they got? What them grandparents was like? The children don't have a chance. The children, their children don't stand a chance. All they're doing is they think that they're helping them, but they're actually making their children's lives harder because that trying to be uh, putting yourself on some type of pedestal just because of your skin complexion, thinking you something special and you ain't earned nothing, 
you ain't did nothing but be white, that, that shit ain't gonna get you nowhere. Not today. That shit is over. That free ride is over. And see, that's what people like Richard Spencer are mad about. He's mad because that's their way. See, unlike people like David Duke, who was in the KKK and share similar views, Richard Spencer is coming off like he's making white supremacy hip, a mainstream thing. And he's coming off like the victim. Their thing is to play the victim. And this way, any type of little advances that anybody else, the way they look at it, the white supremacists, the way they look at it is that any advancement uh, made by anybody other than a white person is like somehow detrimental to their success, to their existence. They feel like if somebody else is winning, if, if anybody other than a white person is winning, they mean it means that they're losing. Of course, uh, not, I, I've never, I never thought about, like, I never looked at it like when I say see a, a white person or anybody just win and that means that I'm losing, unless I'm directly competing with them in some type of sport or something like that. Uh, I never looked at it like that. But that's how they look at it. And part of the reason why they do that also is that they want to make sure that they get all of the marbles on their side. So what they do, it's a psychological thing that they're doing here. They're playing games where they don't want to give up nothing. They don't want to lose any ground. Uh, these motherfuckers are lazy. They don't want to work. They want to get everything free. You see? So they want to continue to have it easy. So they don't have to work hard like the rest of us. They don't have to earn anything. They want to get it free. But, he, but at the same time, they got this thing that they do where they try to talk about everybody else wanting free stuff. But they are always getting free shit. Like Trump just gave his all of his rich friends free shit just now. But they cry when poor people get crumbs for free, get little free crumbs. They cry about that. And then he turns around and gives his friends uh, a break, millions of dollars in breaks. That ain't free shit. They cold-blooded. You got to watch them, man. They cold-blooded with it. So that's all it really is. It's them trying to get back, trying to get all the way back to being able to get free shit and have free privileges and free rights and not have to earn anything like their grandpappies used to do. Them being able to get away with raping women and nothing being done about it. Killing people, especially black people, and nothing being done about it. They're trying to get back to that. So when they see a white person have to play by the same rules as everybody else, that's unfair to them. So they play the victim. That's the game. That's their hustle. That's Richard Spencer's hustle. And if you if you know him, if, if you if you just study him for a minute. You can see what he's all about. He trashed just like Donald Trump. Dallas Morning News, they got this thing that uh, they, they try to act like this wasn't a big deal. This is just recognizing people who made an impact, even though his, if, if his impact was negative, it doesn't mean anything. The bottom line is that he made an impact, so he should be recognized as a finalist for Texas another year. If you're not gonna give him the, if you're not gonna give it to him, why even make him a finalist? Are you just using the name to try to create controversy and you know sell newspapers? Hey, newspapers ain't selling that much anyway. You're trying to get clicks, trying to get views, trying to get them likes up. What is it? Or are you just really letting us see those true colors? You're really just letting us see who you really are. I tend to think that's what it is. I tend to think that the Dallas Morning News is showing us exactly who they are. That editorial staff, the owner on down, from the owner on down, I think they're showing us exactly who they are. 
And if you know anything about them, if you've advertised with them, if you've been a supporter of their magazine and you and you about anything righteousness, righteous, you got any kind of dignity whatsoever about yourself, you need to cut them off like immediately. If you're somebody who work at any type of company that advertise with them, you need to take whatever influence you got and convince your people to stop fucking with them. They say everything is bigger in Texas. Apparently so is racism. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?